Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Jazz Tutorials. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a basic video. I don't want to make anything too extreme because I'm getting my computer service tomorrow, guys. And I just don't want to do a lot and have to, you know, worry about editing and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to make something simple and get it up there for you guys so that you have something to really view. Because I'm not sure when my next video will be. Hopefully it will be next weekend, but I don't know how long it will take to service my computer. And I also don't know when they erase my entire computer if what I backed up my hard drive if all my Photoshop and Adobe apps will be available when I do the backup through Time Machine I don't know that answer so I may have to reinstall everything I don't know and that takes forever to do so yeah hopefully my backup did work and it will bring everything here and there'll be no reinstallations involved but anyways let's get to this video I'm going to be creating another Instagram inspired um, photo effect um, yeah, I'm not sure what to call it. Um, there is um, one called Early Bird on um, Instagram filters, and this is sort of a rendition of that particular filter, but it's not the exact replica because that's copyright, so I kind of morphed into my own. So we'll just call it Early Lighting Effect or some shit. I don't know. I'll figure something else out. You'll see the title anyway, and you'll know what it is. Anyways, alright, so I've already cropped out my image to a square because that's how Instagram rolls and that's how we're going to roll in this tutorial. So, yep, crop it out, make it a square, and good to go. Then, once you do that, you want to duplicate your background layer so you have another layer um, there. So, Control J, duplicate that layer. Oh, and before we um, go any further, I want to mention I'm working in the photography um, workspace. Um, I'm doing that just because there's a few things that aren't available in Essentials that are in here. Not that we're going to need them, but in the event I decide to go and do something crazy, I want to just be in a different, a different workspace. So we're doing Photography Workspace because that's how I roll. Alright, um, then we're going to go over here to Filter, and we're going to go to Render, and we're going to use Lighting Effects. Now, I want to make this clear to you guys. Some of you guys are going to be like, my Lighting Effects isn't there. It is, however, in your Photoshop. It's just some computers make you run Photoshop in 32-bit mode. When you first install it, it's probably going to be running in 16-bit mode. But 32-bit mode will then give you every single filter there ever is. So make sure you figure out how to ro roll your computer into 32-bit mode. Um, if you need to figure that out, go to google.com, type in how to run Photoshop in 32-bit mode, and it will give you instructions per your computer. Um, I would show you, but my computer's a Mac, and you may not have a Mac, so I don't want to confuse you. So I'm going to leave that up to you to figure out where that goes with your particular operating system. All right, click that. And we're going to go, and we're going to go over here. Now, my intensity is at 32 to 69 and 8. Um, now, my preset is set to custom. I don't know what that does, but I like how it looks, so we're going to leave it there. I'm not going to do anything crazy with that so we're gonna leave it just as such but I'm gonna make my um, lighting effect in the dead center of my subject in my photo I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna get that lovely effect there I'm gonna then drop my opacity just a tad probably like 30 percent ish or 33 percent ish I will go with that and I'm gonna select hue for my blend mode that then blends in my lovely lighting effect with my photo which you will then see that's what it looks like right there so that's where we're at we have our lighting effect on top of our background blended in really nicely awesome sauceness now we're gonna add three adjustment layers we're gonna first start with a photo filter layer um, and this is a color photo filter um, so I've selected this lovely tan color here B39F77 and the uh, density is 75% and I presume the luminosity on that one because I'm a cool kid that's what I do and then we have that right there nifty alright next we're gonna add a vibrance adjustment layer and in case you don't know where your adjustment layers are it's right down here next to your group layers they're right here but I think by now some of you may know where that is but if you didn't know now you know. The more you know. Alright, um, so over here on my Vibrance, I have um, 54 for the Vibrance and 4 for the Saturation. 
and you will then see that it really contrasts right in that area actually. Now these effects will be different per photo because every photo has got their own lighting to it but for this photo you'll just see how it's more contrasted here than it was prior to that. Alright and um, our le next and last um, adjustment layer is going to be another photo filter layer. This one is going to be yellow. Um, it's a filter here. Um, it's not just a color. It's really right there. Um, and the density is 59% and the presumed luminosity is checked off on that as well. And we now have that. Alright, now to really enhance this and make it look more uh, Instagram-y, we're going to be adding a vignette. Now, vignettes are basically like a black covering half the photo, sort of, kind of, ish, and making it look pretty. That's my description of a vignette. But there's actually a real description, but I'm not going to show that. So, um, now there are multiple ways, as I, as I have said before, to make a vignette, but I like the easy-peasy, squeezy way, and that's just going ahead, making a new layer. Background is black, not white. Black background layer. Take a large brush of very large size. I'm using 900 pixel soft round brush and blah and I'm just gonna make a dot right there and there you have it folks that's my lovely vignette and that my friends is the lovely Instagram inspired early British tutorial I hope you found this informational I hope you enjoyed this if you did thumbs it up so I know you were here um, if you have any suggestions or any further tutorials or if you have any questions you want answered comment below or you can inbox me here if you feel a little shy but you shouldn't love yourself love everybody else um so thank you team awesome for being amazing as always and awesome um also check out my store links below we have a shirt store selling some cool shirts below um check me out on social media that's also below as well um facebook twitter and tumblr i'm right there um and thank you for watching and i will see you again soon laters